Hello to all our friends, family, and followers. Welcome to Freedom Ranch Homestead. Got everything here, at least to stay alive. And the time that we share makes it all worthwhile. Got this place on. Do you feel that like we got something strong? And I saw you. So I am very excited to let you guys know that Corbin and Harvey came back to work today and they started putting the siding on the second floor of our log home. We decided to go with a concrete siding um, just because it is a little bit longer lasting than wood and easier to maintain. Um, we just really only want to worry about the logs on the first floor of our log home as far as maintaining them over the years and then just let the second story be. We are so happy to have Harvey and Corbin back at work. So here are the fascia boards that they're going to be putting on today. I was able to get some great drone footage of um, Corbin and Harvey up on the lift putting the siding on. It was an absolutely spectacular day. A little bit windy, so the drone was a little bit wobbly, but I definitely think I got some great shots. And so you'll get in a little bit better idea of what it is going to be looking like. Let's down, I'll give up. The other exciting news is that our fence builder, Tracy Blevins, has dropped off his equipment to start fencing off the other pasture land. Um, it is going to be a much larger area for the horses and the cattle to roam and eat lots of grass. As you can see, the grass is pretty mowed down. Um, they have done a very good job of grazing it and are definitely overgrazing it at this point. And we realize that, so right now we are supplementing them with hay so that they still get plenty of food to put weight on, especially Trip, who still is showing a little bit of ribs, but he's definitely getting a little bit heavier. What a view we have where we work. Let's see my studly man move this thing. Oh yeah, baby. Oh no, no, you're joking. <laughs> you got me. 
I did. You did. I was like, whoa, no. No. That was terrible. I know. <laughs> no. You sound like a cow no. dying. I used to have a really good cow beller, but my old voice doesn't work like it used to. <laughs> Out of practice. We hope that Tracy will start pounding those posts in within a day or two. Um, we have marked off the areas where we want to have some gates put in and um, it's going to kind of border all the way around the back area um, by the chicken coop and by the hog pens. We're actually expanding the pig pens into the forest with this new fencing and so it's going to be really solid for years to come. Chuck and I have also started thinking about where we are going to build our barn on that back area near the chick chicken coop and hog pen. Um, that is a ways off. We still need to build the small horse shelter here on the smaller pasture first and then we'll start working on the bigger barn but we had a fun time kind of daydreaming about how it, the layout was going to be and um, where the best places for the gates on the fence to be and so we could access the barn easily. So the horses had a mani petty this last week. We finally got in touch with a farrier that was able to come out to the ranch. Beta is here with um, family farrier. Is this your own business? Did you start this business? That is awesome. And how long have you been in business? Six years. Six years. Okay. So she is out here to give the horses a manicure. She says Jolie is the most in need of help, but we're going to start with Trip and just work our way over. Hey, buddy. So why do you clip the, the excess nail off? So Sorry, I have so many questions. Okay. When you put the shoe on, mm -hmm. you bend the nail over okay. and give it a little hook, and it's called a clinch. And that's what holds the shoe on, is okay. that little clinch. So to get it off... You have to take that off. Got it. Got it. So we're taking Tripp's shoes off. We're going to see how he does since he's just riding on soft land on the trails. He may not need the shoes. a lot of strength. So what is it that you're doing there? I am cutting off the overgrowth. Good boy, Trev. One compared to this one, you can see how long. Yes. Compared to this. Yeah, that you really needed a trim. A nice horse poop right in front. Yep. Okay. Uh, looks so much better. You're gonna be so happy. Happy, happy, happy horse. Yeah. Good try. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, I would pick his leg up and put it on my thigh. Okay. Um, but since he's learning, you're not picking he's learning, it up. I'm not going to do that because it puts me in a more dangerous spot. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So, I'm balancing him out, but then I'll do most everything forward because okay. he gets that big relax. Okay. Okay.
Jolie was giving Beta a little bit of a hard time, and Beta thinks that possibly because both she and Trip came from a horse auction and we know nothing about their past, that they possibly did not have as much exposure to having their hooves taken care of or their shoes put on. Um, she thinks that possibly they were tranquilized when it was done, and so, um, so they were just not used to the whole procedure. But Beta handled um, Jolie in such an amazing way and Jolie finally listened to her and got her shoes taken off and her hooves taken care of because they were definitely in need of some TLC. We're putting the rope halter on Jolie because she is being a little bit difficult. And I learned something new today that the rope halter puts pressure on the top of the nose. Yes. That's why the little knots are there. And that's what makes them pay attention more when you pull on it. So like now, like it'll only take little pops for and her she'll... to be like, whoa, okay lady, Yeah. I get what you want. Okay, cool. So you're not putting it up on the le on your leg again? I'm not no. because she is pulling so much. It's a really good way for me to get hurt. Okay. So like if she were to really pull, it's a little harder for me to hold on to this way. Yeah. But if she were to pull, I can hold on to it for a really long time. But if she's really determined to a point where like I probably would have gotten hurt, I'm out of the way. I'm not under Yeah, good. So she is gonna have to have a corrective trim. Her heels are a little underslung, which means they're right here. Okay. They're right here. They should be back here. Oh, interesting. So That's even though because the, the, the shoe was tilting her foot awkwardly or it's um it's because she's when horses' feet grow instead of growing like this, they grow like this mm -hmm. forward. forward instead. So she's got a really long toe with low heels. To fix that though. I'm going to cut her toe back a little bit further than I normally would. Um, and it like reminds her foot of where it should be. Okay. I don't okay. know why that is like, that's the way it just, okay. it's just the way it is. I yeah. don't know why, but hmm. like back here. Is that just because she hadn't here. had it's the grooming done? she didn't have it done. Okay. Okay. So, so she was in much need of this. Will she be more comfortable walking once it's fixed? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Well, Yes, but because by being more slung forward uh -huh. like that, it changes her angles, but it will start to pull on all these tendons mm. through here, mm. which then will start to pull on everything up here. Yeah, makes sense. Hurt this, and then she'll be grumpy when you ride. Yeah. So, okay. There are lots of things that are connected to the foot mm. itself that will just like humans. Yeah. yeah. Yep. shorter on the toe than I like I did on him because he's got pretty good angles. why you cut it shorter. Wow, oh, yeah, it really looks so much better. So, That's a hard job, Beta. Yeah. <laughs> Very physical. Very yeah, yeah. So her foot, the way it looks right now, is about where it should be. Okay. Once we get the heels back. Okay. So when we get the heels back, it'll look more like this on the regular basis. Okay. Getting the 
hang of this girl. You know how it's all going down. Women pay a lot of money for nice nails. Midnight's turn. Let's see how she does. She's, like she's sweating on her nose. Or is that the fly spray? That's okay. Good girl, Midnight. So she has a really good defined white line all right here. Yeah. Okay. So where it gets fatter, right here and right there. Mm -hmm. That's all mm -hmm. I have to trim off of her. Okay. And then I just have to balance it. So then I brought she it back. Probably, she's gone a long time without having her feet looking. No, um, remember Harvey did it. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering why she wasn't in more shape. Yeah. She actually, she's got good feet. These are nice, big, solid. Good. Good girl. Good job, Midnight. Not that you had much say in it. My poor caterpillar. Oh, sorry, caterpillar. No. It's huge. We were truly impressed with Beta and all her knowledge, and she did a great job with the horses. So we're excited to get on her regular schedule so that the horses can have very happy feet and uh, be able to trail ride with no pain at all. Okay, I want to take a quick moment and show you my handsome son. He hasn't been in a lot of the videos lately. So Gabriel, say hi to everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> he just got home from school and um, there's Peter. So, come come say hither. hi to the YouTube people. This is my other bonus child. Hi. This is Peter. Hello, everybody. And then Bree went off somewhere. I don't know where she went. How was school today, you guys? It was pretty good. It was pretty good? Yeah. Boring. Yeah. Yeah, American <laughs> education system is blowing my mind. Oh, it's blowing your mind? Yeah. <laughs> so well worth it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hey you guys, I am back inside of the house and I'm ready to do some sanding. I am holding the other Festool sander that Dan um, is letting me borrow. So um, Harvey gave me a little extra lesson on the ultra grinding option, <laughs> which is gonna be fantastic if I need it. Um, so I cannot wait to get this puppy put to work. I'm gonna start on this section of the wall, make my way up to kind of do this whole section. And that's probably all I'm gonna get to tonight because it's getting close to dinner time and you know, mama's gotta cook dinner. So my job's gotta end sometime soon so I can feed the masses. So just as a reminder or an explanation to those of you who are just joining the channel, um, we are sanding the interior of the logs inside of our master bedroom because we had already started sanding them before we discovered the oxalic acid. They got kind of wrecked by the sander that we were using. And when we put the stain on top of the sanded portion, it looked really bad. So that's why I'm borrowing Dan's um, awesome Festool sander, and that's why I'm doing the whole Tyrion portion of the room, except I will not be going outside into the living space with it because we are gonna use the oxalic acid and then the wood freshener on that and then sand down along the stripes as needed. So just a quick little explanation. So I'm gonna get back to work. There must be certain boards that depending on which direction they were cut, I'm not sure, but they have a lot more um, texture to them. And so the, the sun bleaching got in deeper into the grooves, which makes it harder to sand down. As opposed to this one, I bet will be really easy to sand. This one is gonna give me a headache. There should ever be Okay, I'm gonna call it done for the day. <laughs> I did the logs that I wanted to do for the most part, didn't get all the way up top. Um, a couple of them are definitely gonna need another round of sanding to get them a little bit lighter and a little bit more even looking. And um, I have to say that the Festool sander is a thumbs up. 
oh yeah, definitely a lot more powerful and easier to use than the other sanding tools that I have used. So um, maybe for Christmas, hey, hey, hint, hint there, Chucky. Oh, sorry, no, he doesn't like it when I film that. Hint, hint there, Chuck. <laughs> I have made dinner and Sister Beth is back in town, passing through on her way back to North Carolina and Gabe suggested we come out and eat for the sunset. How was your meal, son? Spot on. So Daughter, good. did you enjoy it? No. I like the pork chop. Pork chop were yummy, but not the rice. Oh, it's missing some curry sauce. Mm. Thank you for slaving way more. I know, I did slave away after working all hard today, so. Bring me and Peter will take care of the dishes. <gasps> Love to you. What is Brie gonna do? You better pitch in, dude.